Let's take a look at some proportion questions. Now, all of these are non-calculated with the exception of the final two questions, question seven and question eight. So Jermaine's got a recipe that has 200 grams of chocolate for each egg. So if he's using three eggs, he's tripled the number of eggs. So he's gonna need triple the chocolate as well. And three times 200 is 600 grams of chocolate. For Rick's soup, it's uh, two liters of water for 600 grams of carrots. If he's got 1200 grams of carrots, that is double the number of carrots. So he's gonna need double the water. So that's four liters. For Alana's rolls, it's two, uh, two teaspoons of salt for uh, 500 grams of white flour. So if she's using six teaspoons of salt, that is triple the amount of salt. So she's gonna need triple the flour 500 times 3 is 1,500 grams or 1 1.5 kilos. For coffee, it's 500 milliliters of water, 20 grams of coffee, and that makes two cups. So if Theo wants to make four cups, that's double the amount. So he's going to need double the coffee, so 20 times 2, which is 40, and double the water, which is 1,000 milliliters or one liter. Michelle and her chicken casserole, it's one cube for 400 grams of chicken. <clears throat> and this is for two people. So if she's making chicken casserole for eight people, well that's four times the recipe. So she's gonna need four times one stock cube, so four stock cubes, and four times 400 grams of chicken, so 1600 grams or 1 1.6 kilos. So Neil the builder needs five kilos of cement six water and 25 of aggregate. But if he's using 10 kilos of cement, that means he's doubling the recipe. So therefore he's gonna need double the water. Six times two is 12 liters. And for aggregate, 25 times two, which is 50 kilos. For Angela's mocktail, so this is for two servings. So if she wants 10 servings, that that's five times more than two. So she's gonna to need to multiply all these ingredients by five. We can use a, a calculator for this. So 300 times five for the limeade is 1500 milliliters. For the lemonade, it's 150 times by five, which is 750 milliliters. And for the orange juice, it's 50 times five, which is 250 milliliters. And for question number eight, this is a recipe for four. Matteo wants it for 12. Now 12 is three times greater than four, so he's gonna to need to triple all these ingredients. So pasta, 300 times three, which is 900 grams. For the sauce, it's gonna be 500 grams times three, 1500 grams, or 1 1.5 kilos. And for the cheese, 100 times by three, which is 300. Of course, you can do use the, um, a calculator for any of these calculations, but um, they're relatively straightforward, so it's probably quite safe to do them in your head if you want to. Okay, question number nine. So Sophie's got a recipe to make cupcakes. So 16 cupcakes requires 500 grams of chocolate. Um, she only wants to make four cupcakes, which is four times less. So therefore she'll need four times less Sugar, 500 divided by four is 500 halved twice, so 250, 125 grams. Question number 10, four builders takes six weeks, and we want to know how long it would take six builders. Now, obviously, uh, we need to be careful here. We're, we've got more people working, so it's gonna take less time. Obviously, if it was eight builders, which is double four builders, it would take half the time, but it's a bit difficult going from four to six. So what I'm gonna do is work out how long it would take one builder. One builder would take four times as long. So that would be 24 weeks. So if one builder takes 24 weeks, then six builders will take uh, six times less. 24 divided by six is four weeks. So that will be four weeks. Question number 11, porridge contains 12 grams of fiber for 100 grams. 
and we want to work out how much fiber is in 40 grams. If it was 50 grams, it'd be easy, it'd be half the amount. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work out uh, 10 grams since 40 and 100 are both multiples of 10. 10 grams is 10 times less than the 100, so that would be 1.2 grams of fiber, 12 divided by 10. So 40 grams is 40 times by, sorry, it's gonna be four times 1.2 because 40 is four times bigger than 10 and 1.2 multiplied by 4, well 12 times 4 is 48, so that's going to be 4.8 grams. Question 12, uh, we're not allowed to use a calculator for number 12, so 5 kilometres takes 40 minutes, so the easiest thing to do is to work out how long 1 kilometre will take, and that's 40 divided by 5, which is 8 minutes, so therefore 9 kilometres is going to take 9 times 8 minutes, which is 72 minutes. Question number uh, 13. We know that it takes three gardeners 45 minutes and we want to work out how long it's gonna take five gardeners. So again, more gardeners, so less time. But going from three to five is tricky, so we'll work out how long it's gonna take one gardener. Now one gardener will take longer than three gardeners. In fact, it will take three times longer. So three times 45 is 135 minutes. So if one gardener takes 135 minutes, then five gardeners will take five times less time. So one, three, five divided by five, um, again, we can use the calculator here, uh, is 27 minutes. So 13A is 27 minutes. For B, we know that one, we've already worked out that one gardener takes 135 minutes. So two gardeners will take less time, half as much time. So one, three, five divided by two and that comes to 67.5 minutes. Question number 14, you can use a calculator for this one, but for me, it's a really challenging question, just the way it's worded is very confusing. Um, we know that four members are handing out leaflets at a rate of 300 per hour. So um, assuming we, we, all the leaflets still need to be distributed in an hour, what's the rate if there are five members? Well, if there was one member, then this person would have to work four times quicker and would therefore have to hand out 1,200 leaflets in the hour. So therefore, if there are five members working, they can be a bit more relaxed with the number of leaflets they hand out per hour. In fact, they could work at, they'll be working at a rate which is five times less. 1,200 divided by five is 240. If five people are handing it handing out at a ratio of, sorry, at a rate of 240 per hour, then how many people are needed to be handing them out at a rate of 80 per hour? Well, that rate has uh, decreased by uh, three. Obviously, using your calculator, you just do 240 divided by 80. So that is three times less. So the rate is decreased by three. So therefore, you need to increase by three the number of members and five times three is 15, so that would have to be 15 members. Question number 15, are, is the journey time directly proportional to the cost um, of the fare? Well, we can see that five to 10, we're doubling. Eight to 16 is doubling. Five to 15, we are tripling. Eight times three is 24, that's also tripling. Five to 20, we're multiplying by four, but eight times four, is 32 so if it was directly proportional this would be 32 not 30. the fact that it's 30 tells us that no uh the journey time and the cost of the fare is not directly proportional <laughs>